Hey guys, Mobile Mike here from the Gadget Gurus Podcast. Um, doing the 30 day showdown between the HTC Hero and the Palm Pre. And this section, I'm going to talk a little bit about apps and the app store for each platform. So we've got uh, the HTC Hero running Android, and we have the Palm Pre running WebOS. So uh, just a little background, in case you don't know, Hero's been out, or not Hero, but Android has been out for a little over a year now. I think it came out, um, first device was the G1, came out last year uh, around November. Uh, WebOS and its apps um, really just got kicked off this July, and paid apps, I think, a couple months after that. So real still very young when it comes to the uh, WebOS and apps. But overall, um, my just overall opinion is the applications on the pre uh, suck. Some of them are very good. Uh, I shouldn't even say some. Very few are good. Um, most of them are, are, especially in the App Store, are overpriced and for what they do. I mean, you can find the same type of apps on um, the iPhone and Android, even BlackBerry for uh, either free or for a dollar and, and I'm not talking about apps that are worth paying I'm talking like um, uh, let's see I've got, I'm trying to pull it up right here and give you an example um, Pack and Track is a um, UPS um, you know FedEx tracking application that shouldn't be eight dollars I mean I'm not trying to you know diss the developers because I know they put a lot of work in this stuff but that's an eight dollar application for me personally, is it worth eight dollars? No. Um, now on the on the Android, there's an application that's called um, Open Home. Uh, there's an, uh, that basically lets you completely customize your home screen. Um, not such a big deal with the Sense UI um, because Sense UI is very customizable, or Android as a whole is very customizable. But it lets you do a lot more stuff. Uh, there's another one called Better Cut that lets you customize any icon and there's hundreds and hundreds of different icons and you know different icon packs um, for two bucks you know so just really a lot of applications that let you do a lot of customization that don't cost a whole lot and and work very well um, you know there's there's Pandora on both and they both work great you know so there there are apps on both platforms that are the same cost and the same app and they work very well um, WebOS is still new. Uh, I know there's uh, there's a couple issues with WebOS. The SDK still does not uh, allow access to um, to a lot of the APIs that would make WebOS apps run really nice and have a little bit more access. Um, it's kind of like the iPhone. They're they're sandboxed really not really bad. They're but they're still sandboxed. Um, Android apps are sandboxed, but they have a lot more access to the overall functions of the phone. For example, with the Hero, there's a messaging bug uh, where the standard um, messaging, the, I'll show you, see. This is the standard messaging application. Let me open it up here for you. Right there. So those are my text messages in the sta standard. Um, you go back to the home screen here, and it's hard to see. Uh, again, I'm sorry, I need a real camera. Right there, you see the little badge one, that's my messages. Well, I actually don't use that. I'm using Handsent SMS, which completely replaces my SMS application. And um, it's totally customizable. You can customize uh, the bubbles, the chat bubbles. Um, I mean, it's just, let's see if I can get into a message here so you can see. Um, you can change the backgrounds, you know, so just a, a lot of really cool stuff. And um, the, there's a bug with the HTC messaging app that just kills your battery. Um, and you can just replace the SMS app completely with, with Android. Um, you couldn't do that on something like the Pre. You can't replace applications. Um, so overall, I got to give it to the Hero. Hero's hands down better for applications. There's uh, Of course, there's more, but it, the quantity isn't always what it's about. I mean, look at that iPhone store. There's 100,000 apps, and maybe 1%, half a percent of those apps are actually good apps. Um, the Hero has 10,000, or the Android, I should say, has 10,000 apps or so. And same thing, you know, you got 10,000 apps, and, you know, a lot of them are theme packs and icon packs and keyboard uh, themes and things like that. But the apps that are there are really good. Um, the Pre, on the other hand, the apps are 
pretty. They, they look real nice. They got that same you know polish that WebOS has, but they just they, they don't dig into the system as much as I'd like. Um, they're really good for just overall. You know, I mean, your general consumers are gonna are gonna like the apps on the uh, on the pre. Um, I think they need a little bit more time to grow though. Um, the second part I wanted to cover is app stores. Um, so you know, obviously you got to go somewhere to get these apps. Well, the, you got the uh, app catalog on the pre, and you've got the um, the app catalog is what it's called. Uh, market Android Market. Wow. Um, take away my geek card. Uh, so I'm just gonna tilt this down so you can kind of see the two different. So this is the um, there you go. This is the app market, and up top here you've got you know you can kind of scroll here. And it's got you know your your top apps, um, and then when you go in your applications, it's broken down by category. You know, so you got your you know different categories. Um, same thing, you've got games, uh, search, all that type of stuff. You got my downloads, um, and this is pretty neat. It'll tell you like I've got shop savvy. If you look up top there, I've got an update for it. So, you know, overall does the job. Um, one thing I have to say about the Android market is the search absolutely sucks it's terrible unless you hit spot on it's not gonna find it um, and even if you do hit it spot on for example um, like I was talking about all those different theme packs uh, I'm just gonna search for an application called better keyboard and better keyboard is a keyboard replacement app and I did a review on it um, so check that out too in YouTube but okay so we're just gonna search for better keyboard that's the name of the app you know, if you say, hey, buddy, you know, friend of mine with Hero, check out the better keyboard. Okay, so here we go. We've got better keyboard. That's all skins. I mean, you got to wade through all this crap. I mean, and that's not, it's not crap. I shouldn't say crap because it's awesome that there's this much customization. But it's like they need a whole, the search just really needs, I mean, I haven't even seen it yet. Oh, by the way, the, the dolphins suck. Um, yeah, I'm still not finding it. So that's what I mean. It sucks. Um, the search is garbage. On let's see here. On the pre, we've got yeah. Let's see if I can get to the. Actually, let me start all over on the pre, so you can see the home screen and everything. On the pre, organization and search works much better. The app, uh, app catalog on the pre is, can you get that? Oh, here, that's a thumbs up. That's a thumbs up for the app, <laughs> app catalog on the, on the pre. So there you go. Um, that's what it looks like right there. And again, I'm sorry, my camera sucks. Um, you've got explore, recent, and popular. Um, you can also scroll, you know, right there. Um, if you push the little cart down at the bottom there, this is pretty cool. It's got updates, so it'll tell you all the apps that you have to update. Um, it's been a while since I've updated. Uh, G Dial Pro, hands down, best app for pretty. If you use Google Voice, buy that right now. Or not buy it, I think it's still free. Um, application, so this is everything I've downloaded. And with both platforms, you're going to get, um, they basically remember all the apps that you have. I'm trying to do this upside down. Oh, that's why I was swiping the wrong way. So you've got explore, and that's kind of just like categories. You know, you break it down, it goes into categories. Um, and we'll go into, well, let's see, what's a good category? Oh, it's entertainment. That's always fun and exciting. So we got, uh, let's see, oh, it's in the adult section. Oh, oh. <laughs> blood alcohol calculator. Fantastic. Um, okay, so that's 99 cents. That's well worth it. <laughs> so uh, there you have it that's my overall opinion apps on the pre still got a little ways to go apps on the Android platform better app store on the pre better app store on the Android platform sucks so there you go check out the rest of the videos for the 30 day showdown